Yeah, that's Learned true. something, though. So it all comes back from Ellis Island when they came over. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, so if you allow them to say the N-word, you have to allow them to say... Uh, Irish, uh, you know, shanty Irish. You yeah, everything, yeah, everything. Everything. Yeah. Mick. All that stuff yeah. has to be then under the same thing where we right. can't say it or can't use it in any context. That's ridiculous. Well, the point is, you know, you can't start banning words, and this councilman should know that. You yeah, can't it, ban it, words. Right. First Amendment. It's the first he's, one they can. He's talking about just walking around New York City, you know, uh, not being able to if use the word. If you used it, you would if be... If you're stupid uh, enough to use the word... As you walk around New York City, so be it. Yeah, I think there's payment enough if you use the N-word in New York City. <laughs> yeah, no right, kidding. Right. Especially if you're on the subway, because right. you're not surrounded by crackers. <laughs> 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 you got to get slapped a little bit. Yeah. But uh, that's in the news today. We were just talking about that, so I wanted to bring that to the table. That's jungle yeah. fever, right? Yep. No, you can... yeah, uh, I actually yeah. dated her. The first black girl I ever dated, I, I, I didn't know what to call her. African-American... You know, whatever, and Negro, colored. I actually called her colored. I said... What are you, 1950? I didn't know. I Call, messed up. I called her a colored girl. Aunt Jemima, you called her. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that was later. That was the role play we did. That's the 30s. Oh, a role play. <laughs> I got her a little headband and some syrup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an ass. So what did that get you when you called her uh, well, a colored girl? She actually forgave me because I really, I didn't know. I just was like... You How know, could you I, be so ignorant as to not know this, that term was, hasn't been used in, in, in 50 switch, years? They've switched... They, because that's right when they went to a nut. This is what you call yeah, black Afri people now. African American. Black I think. people. It went from colored to black people to African American. I think African American has been uh, the accepted term yeah. for years now. Not years. She didn't think you were black, did she? No, oh, she, right. <laughs> she didn't. She yeah. thought I was Puerto Rican, but I'm Hispanic. Irish, Irish Italian. I'm Irish. You're Italian. Irish Italian. Robert that could, Patrick Kelly. That could absolutely be Hispanic. Wow. <laughs> He's a guinea mick. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm joking. <laughs> guinea mick. <laughs> but she forgave me, but it was just, it was, I was like, I never went out with a color girl before. And she was like, what did you just call me? Hmm. I was like, oh, but you know, my grandfather, he still calls the neighbors. He's like the color guy. And I'm like, pop. <laughs> I got in trouble once for that. You don't want to do that. You still go out with her? Huh? No, I wish I did. She was fantastic. She did, she was so she had a little afro and she'd wear a bandana to bed so it didn't get indented in the pillow. <laughs> really? Yeah, they wear like it was. So, and she came out. This was so cool. She came out of the house with a bowl of peaches. She was like, "Baby, you want a peach?" And I was like, "I guess, yeah, I'll have a peach." I didn't because we don't eat peaches without a fork or a knife. They just she was sucking them right out of the bowl. And Frank that's punch a, him in the face. Sexy. That's the whole claim to fame: the bandana so, and peaches. Yeah, oh, se it was very sexy. She yeah, was huh? very sexy. Was black it, girls are very sexy. She, was she very black? She was. Bl I mean, yeah, she looked like she could run a marathon. Like her, <laughs> that little small bum. You know that little small African booty? Mm -hmm. Not the big black American black girl. Where it has ass. an extra piece on that it. That little African small. It looks like a little, almost like a twelve-year-old boy you booty. Put your drink on there. It's yes. The, yeah. You can put it. You can rest your beer on the back of her butt <laughs> at the pool. You ever play uh, Slave Girl? Uh, did you ever wow. get really crazy with her? <laughs> I, <laughs> What's the craziest no. thing you did with her? What's it? Well, you know, as was, far as you know, the racial thing. Racial difference. Well, I was talking to Patrice about this. I, there's two. There's a couple types of black girls. There's the black girl, okay, with the peaches and the bandana. Then there's the white girl, black girl, which they're crazy. They're nuts. Really? The yeah, white they wanted, girl, black girl. They, it's like, hey, how are you? What's going on? I, you know, I'm Sarah. And they 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 went to college and hung out with like you know fat white chicks and they, <laughs> they're psycho. <laughs> He's got it all down. They're oh, he psycho. Does. No, they they really nuts because they they like want to be choked or and they and but then, they, then they cry and then they come back and they used to be they were fat but now they're skinny and they have a photo of it and it's kind of nasty and you got to be careful of their hair because they have the tracks and like no my hair will fall out relax and they, and they put the photo on your phone they put the <laughs> your fo her photo on your phone you carry it around yeah yeah well and show it to people no we got to be careful of that but. <laughs> be careful. he's from Boston he's got to be really careful so then what's the other the third uh... well then there's just you know ghetto black yeah but there's the black girl like the one I did she was black but she was you know she was gonna be a nurse or something but she was like from Africa then there's the American ghetto black but then there's the white girl black the white girl black they're nuts sexually they're like white girls but they they have the same guilt like you know I was with this girl and I was, you know, she like, oh, choke me, choke me. Like, and I was like, started to choke her. And then she started crying. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But this happened like six times in my bathroom. <laughs> How do you choke a guy? I don't so care. So I kept choking her and stomping, choking and stomping. And I'm like, what are you, are you, do you want me to choke you? I don't <laughs> care if she's asking to be choked. How do you choke? Uh, what? Uh, you say sexually, no. Yeah, right. You it's, say it's like no, a, you it's lunatic. It's a theater choke. It's not a real choke. <laughs> theater 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 choke. choke. Yeah, you, have a, you have a fight with, like, you know, fake fight. You choke them a little. You don't choke them. 
mouth. She was crying. Don't choke him like you hate a baby. It's what like do you use? Do you use a garrote? What do you use? A <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a ninja. I'm just... <laughs> Gotta love Frank Vincent. A garrote. Who knows, how, knows, how, knows what a garrote is? is. Right, so There's some piano I know wire. Knows. That's piano <laughs> wire on a couple of sticks. <laughs> We've used a garrote on a few guys. Hey. <laughs> a garrote. How great is that? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know, you're with the garrote. So that's her fetish. Or that's her thing. White, So you feel milk. really uncomfortable because you're like, all right, this is what she wants. So you start doing it. Then you feel guilty. So no. you stop. And then she wants more. No, I was into it. I didn't feel guilty. I oh. wanted to do it. But you then when you, her. well, not choke her to death, but choke, you know, <laughs> choke her you know, to a death. little frustration for all that happened to me as a child. <laughs> <laughs> we know, me? we know white black girl. Who? Francine. Yeah. White black. Francine exactly. is white black girl. She's black, but she was raised in like a wealthy part of Connecticut. She's white. Yeah. yeah. So she's white. She doesn't know anything about the ghetto. She doesn't know anything about anything. Crazy. But whenever sexual conversations have come up, she's a little weird. There's a little weird thing going on there. Like they're weird, man. You got to watch out for the white black girl. Black girl, African, great. Ghetto black. The best. Sexually, they're like... I remember the first ghetto black I ever went. Because we're used to black too white guys. Too intimidating. We're white guys. We want... With white girls, they're so guilty. We got to hurry up, grab this, do this, grab this, do this. Before they know it, they're like, oh my God, I don't want to do this, but I'm doing it all. But black girls... <laughs> we have, hey, you we, just described rape, you idiot. <laughs> no. no, but white girls, we need to give a white... You need to give a white girl an excuse so she right. doesn't feel bad about it. Black girls, ghetto black girls, they already made their mind up whether they're going to sleep with you, right. I'm going to do it. And I actually was with this girl. She's like, baby, slow down. We're going to we're gonna gonna do this. <laughs> it's going to happen. Exactly. And she went over to You really got to work at screwing it up, you mean. So she basically you're saying, you know, you go real fast with the white girls because you don't want her thinking. You right. can't have right. it. You don't want her changing her mind. Have another glass of wine, honey. Quick. But, <laughs> exactly. But the no, black girl right. already made up her mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. Yesterday. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Right, right. <laughs> Exactly. Wow, Bobby, yeah. you are very He's knowledgeable. It, oh, yeah. Very I, knowledgeable. I've uh, studied. Just stay away from the white black girls. Oh, my God. No, no interracial you, relationship. You'll, you'll get caught up in some court stuff. Trust what me. What about white girl, white girls? White girl, what? White girls. Well, white, white girl, girl, white girls are just like black girl, white girls. They're nuts. <laughs> they <got laughs> crazy. Issues. Yeah, they've been touched on the doll. I mean, it's crazy stuff. <laughs> the doll. They're just a little nuts. They, they, they. they they went too far with something, and they still hold that a little bit of baggage. Yeah, one, once you once you desensitize yourself to sex, okay, and but you feel guilty about it because of your religion or your upbringing, or your parents, you you're, you're done because you want that, but you can't have that. So then you go and get it, and then you got to say no, and then you then you then you're nuts. The wildest girls growing up were always the ones with the parents that made them go to church yeah, every right, Sunday right. and yeah, and right. stations of the cross on right. Christmas and this, right. and they were the ones that every Couldn't free wait. second Couldn't wait. It was something sexual. Couldn't wait. Right. Couldn't, and when they get it, they go nuts. They're nuts. <laughs> you just create You're monsters. from Boston? I'm from Beantown, yeah. I'm from uh, North Adams. North oh, Adams, all right. Yeah. I actually, I actually was, uh, there was a movie you did in the North End, I think. Yeah. Uh, in Boston. The Handsome Thing. And Yeah, the, the Handsome they Thing. They changed the name of it, I think, yeah. And, uh, yeah, there, I remember that. I, well, that was I actually, great. It was, yeah, it was a good movie. I just did Stiffs up there, too, with Danny Aiello. It oh, okay. should be all coming right. out soon. It, Stiffs? Stiffs. Hey, Stiff. Frank, I got, a, I got a question for you. Everyone knows all your famous movies, obviously. What was the worst movie you were in? In your opinion. Oh, man. Just that's, dog. that's a long list. <laughs> a long what, list. What about one that just stands on your mind like, oh, God, I can't believe I actually uh, have this uh, on, on uh, IMDb? Well, you don't you don't know they're, they're that bad when you're doing them. You think they're bad, but <laughs> some of them like never come out. And they're the ones mm -hmm. that I, I was in Puerto Rico for three weeks. I did a movie... Uh, Oh, I don't remember the name of it. I forgot it. <laughs> Good, see? It never came out. <laughs> Finally, the guy put it out or something. I wound up with a check for like 8000 because he was he owed money back. Yeah. So, so I mean, oh, boy. I did like 60 movies. I don't know. There's a lot yeah, of, he's got a lot, lot of, of movies. A lot of independent movies that weren't so good. Yeah, all right. But, you know, when you're, coming, when you're struggling to do it, you, you act. You go to work. You go to yeah. Work. Guy, got, you, guy gives you money. And then you, you get lucky to have such a great resume of great movies that lucky, people yeah, forget yeah. about the, uh, yeah. you know. The bomb. They, they allow you a couple of bombs. <laughs> well, I sometimes you do a movie, a guy says, I'm going to do this thing, I'm going to give you that number, and you do, okay. I say, nobody's going to see it anyway. Let's do it. Yeah. You know, for the cash. Yeah, you're right. pocketing a little cash. cash. For the cash. <laughs> well, you, you get, like, you get, when you're, like, you're a star like you, you get a certain quote. 
And if they want, right. if someone wants you to work in their movie, right. you'll work in a movie. Yeah. If you pay me this much money and I like the yeah. script, I can, I'll come and do this it. This is my minimum, right. That's yeah. what my you quote. get. Yeah. Right. So. Hey, let's go to the phones. Malik uh, wants to comment about what Bob was saying. Malik. Yo, what's up, Owen? Hey, what's going on? What's hey. happening, man? Mr. Vincent, how you doing? Good, Malik. What's up? All right, Bob. Are you Irish? Are you? <laughs> no, I'm black, bro. I, I know, I know. Yo, Bob, you're my new hero. You got all three versions of Sisters Down Pat. <laughs> <laughs> How did you become so knowledgeable on that, my man, being it, from Boston? It, I know, right? I should. <laughs> well, it took me. It took me quite a. F uh, let me tell you something. Quite a nights of ugh. I'm scared if I had something and eating peaches and watching off a track so they don't come out of the hair. And See, it's not it's not the fact that Bob dated three black girls, no. one black, white, one uh, black, oh, and one yeah. uh, African. You went through so many yeah. that you were able to uh, pick and choose and, and, and realize yeah. the differences. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? I had and, no and, clue. And black girls smell different than white girls. You're still. a scientist. They smell, they smell different Absolutely. than white girls. Yeah. White girls smell to black dudes. Like different. It, I'm telling you, the guys. Look, I have three white guys. Wait, what? At me like, what I'm did you just say about white it. chicks? Well, it's, wait, it's wait, so black guys with a white chick. Uh, it's, it smells. If you go with, have you ever with a black girl? No. Really? I swear to God, no. <laughs> ever? <laughs> look at him. Really? Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> Frank, so, Frank just gave me the old Italian mob. Uh, don't ask me, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Frank did. <laughs> you, ever get, you ever get smacked like, in the yeah, face? <laughs> Hi, hon. My wife's listening. I'm going to treat her. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> right. They not yeah. King Cole over here. What kind of people are they? Right, right, right. What the hell kind of people are they? Ask me right in front of everybody if I did a black chick. Go ahead, man. Freaking black chick. Why is Frank? how a white girl could fall for a guy like that? <laughs> we hit it 20, there. 25 years in the music business. There's your answer. Yeah, okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. For you at home, Frank's so, been nodding for the last uh, two minutes straight. So, so. so, so they smell different. <laughs> not sm Yeah, I don't want to say different smell. Different perfume. They don't smell all. like, you know, no, not different perfume. It's a different body odor. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bob. Yes, sir. How come you never do Def Comedy Jam, bro? Because let me tell you, with, with statements like that, you would get over on the black audience, bro. You know us. We, we peoples now. Yeah, all right, man. What's up, bro? All right. I'll see you <laughs> on Xbox uh, 360, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> all right, punch it out, fellas. Hey, thanks, Malik. Thanks, Listen, man. We, hey, Malik. We got to take a break. Uh, Frank Vincent in studio. Uh, the, your book's in paperback now there, Frank. Sure is. Uh, a Guy's Guide to Being a Man's Man. We'll talk about that a little bit. All right. And, uh, you're sticking around, right? Yeah, I'm not going. Does he you have, have to, to leave? No. Okay, good. And uh, we'll talk about The Sopranos it's a little my bit. my white girl yep. publicist. Yeah. She's a white, white girl, too, white, by the way. She's very white over there. Very white. She's Not a, white. a hint of black in her. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get Bobby to... was going to make a joke. I was, but I pulled <laughs> right back. He thought I, best. I looked right smart at him. Guy. I got my... <laughs> smart guy. He's smart. a beautiful woman. You still guy. don't know if he's an actor or not. <laughs> you don't know if that's, that's, Look, let me tell you something. Gandolfini, you know, is an actor, because when you hear him, he's like, hey, who are you? He pronounces his R's and R's. Right, right, right. And you're like, he's not a mob guy. But him, it's like, you know, no. You really don't know. You don't want to take the Chance. Yeah, you know he's got something going on. <laughs> Frank some, will some go, type of connection. Yeah, Frank will go from you know telling you how to how he delivered a certain line to just hitting you with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> My daughters still think that way. My daughters. Really? <laughs> honey, are you in the mob? <laughs> I'm an actor, honey. Well, you know they're not bringing anything home. Uh, that <laughs> oh no! Oh, 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 bringing nothing that smells different. <laughs> 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 you know peaches in this house. No. Frank in Vincent. the wine. In the wine. Yeah, yeah. Frank Vincent, he just everyone. Has, he has that <laughs> clip of Jungle Fever playing in a loop in his <laughs> house. <laughs> look, look, look. That's Christmas music at his house. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's going to make me laugh all day. All right, it's the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> Call the Opie and Anthony Show right now, 866-313-FREE. Owen, who's this? Hi. I'm Tony. What do you got for the show? Nothing. So why'd you call? The man on the radio said I should call. Oh, fantastic. Hang on. If you have a point that's relevant to the topic at hand, call the Opie and Anthony Show at 866-313-FREE. Okay, bye. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. It's Pest Radio. For the pests, by the pests, and like the pests.